Hey, it's Ella and thanks for exploring with me today. Let's take a look at where we're going. I am here today at Indigis Cape. It's 14 and a half hectares of serene natural bushland on the Redlands Coast. I'm so excited to see what we'll discover. Wow, look at this beautiful artwork on the wall. I can see magpies, koalas, butterflies in this gorgeous tree. Now I'm going into this cute little hidey cave. What do you think I'll find in here? There's more pictures of animals in here and information all over the walls. Check out the lights behind these animals. I can press the button and it lights up. Whoa, this coastal carpet python looks really cool, but maybe a little bit scary. I'm glad it's just a picture. Mangroves are amongst the most endangered marine wetland habitats in the world. These are some of the creatures you can find in the mangroves. Mudwhelks? I've never heard of a mudwhelk before. Oh, beautiful blue butterfly. Sea mullets. And birds. I'm going to use these cool binoculars and see what I can find out in the bushland. Zoom right in. And check out this headphone. I can hear all of the sounds from the forest. Speaking of sounds of the forest, let's push this button and see what a spangled dronco sounds like. Interesting. And what about a dusky moorhen? So cool. Check out this interactive screen. It's going to help me build a special garden. I'm going to choose bee and butterfly. There's my house. Okay, and what am I going to choose for my house? I'm going to put in some darling peas. Oh, look, they pop right up next to my house. So cute. And a tuckaroo. Oh, I love that there. And let's also do a bug hotel. Mm, try again. There we go, bug hotel. I love my house with my bee and butterfly garden. There's so many interesting things on display here. They're things that have been collected from the forest to show us all the different kinds of specimens. There's even a little bird's nest. No birds or eggs in there today though. What else can we find? Lots of bugs. And is that a snake skin? Wow, I would love to see that snake skin closer up in the microscope. Let's check it out. Wow, we are so close. Look at all the detail. That is a big snake skin. In Australia, we have so many eucalyptus trees. There's 92 million hectares of eucalyptus forests in Australia. And you know who loves eucalyptus trees? Our gorgeous koalas. Oh, and look at this slippery little friend. He loves the forest just as much as the koalas. He's amazing. And check out this paper wasp nest. It is so big. I wonder how many wasps it took to build. Ah, uh, let's take a break from all this learning and play a bit of Jenga. Oops, these blocks are a bit big for me. Ah, uh, maybe I'll have a little play over here. Ah, uh, these gears are stuck. What is going on? Do you know what though? Who needs to play with this when I've got the whole forest to look at out there? Let's keep exploring. I've headed outside now to the botanic garden section in Indigiscapes. There are so many cool things out here. Look at this beautiful butterfly artwork. It's a Richmond birdwing butterfly. It's one of Australia's largest. 
I'm going to head into the rainforest walk and see what I can find. This sign tells me all of the types of things I can find in this rainforest. I'm going to search for a peanut tree. Can you help me? Peanut tree, peanut tree. Beautiful canopy, but I'm not sure I can see a peanut tree. Let's keep looking. Here's a sign. I know that's kind of cheating, but I never would have found it without it. I think it's because it's not fruiting, but we found it. Oh, and some more amazing artworks out in the Botanic Gardens. I can't believe how many amazing things we've seen today. Thank you so much for exploring with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our adventures.